Coming up next, it's a UFC women's flyweight division matchup. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials, and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker. So try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. All right, so here she is, one of the more prolific kickboxers to cross into the UFC in some time. She might kick harder than you, bro. Oh, yeah, she does kick so hard. And I mean, you look at the videos. The videos are all out there, and you watch this young lady landing these brutal leg kicks on the bag, landing the high kicks, the body kicks. It's it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is. She's so aggressive in her approach. She's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can't, how she could be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 120 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Shiva! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making a professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 120 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Magalesh! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we are back at the O2 in London, England, and we certainly glorify the Canadians and the Brazilian fight fans, and rightfully so. But when we show up in London, it's a sellout within five minutes every time. Regardless of who's fighting, the English fans show up. They love fights. They're very understanding. They show up every single time. They're knowledgeable and ready to cheer, but don't be crazy. They will boo you out of that building. That's a big strike right there. See, there it is. See, switch. See, switch. Saber's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Ooh, big knee. Oh, straight right. Good series of punches by her there. She's in her zone. She's flowing right now. What a punch. Just over three minutes to go round one. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. Big punch from the clinch. How 
good a job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard, a lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Siebers. Leg kick. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice. from this one and she had it all going on tonight but certainly her boxing was on point her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights finally she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent We're now go inside the octagon where bruce buffer has the official decision Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Magalay! Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment for her. You ready? You ready? Fight. Well, our stack guys are ready to score takedowns if need be, but given this matchup on paper, we're expecting really a glorified kickboxing match here under mixed martial arts. They can head to the popcorn booth right now because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. Leave that grapple button empty. Don't touch it. Cover it with a piece of tape. You don't need it. Striker versus striker. Both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents, and they don't want to do it on the mat. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. She lands a kick there. She might be the best. Wow. Yeah. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Man. We got to fight, folks. That's how you finish your fight. to go in the round. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, oh, those are those, oh! And just misses with that big right hand. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, nice job by her. No, what you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, straight right. Oh. Well, back to her feet here, but man, is she hurt. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Plans a nice one, too. Oh, big left hook there. Seaver gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Throwing heat now. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Seaver. Beautiful body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice kick. Oh, oh big nice knee there. Oh, 
big left. Oh! What a body kick. That's a big hook. Oh! Huge right hand! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there! Nice leg kick. Final seconds of round one. Savers lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day. All right, we'll take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent. Bruce Buffer now, he has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone to stop in this contest. At 31 seconds of round number two, playing the winner by knockout, Magalene! Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by now. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it. 